Hello everyone, Kerry Griffiths here, or also Kerry the Crafter. Now this isn't a coffee with Kerry, because it's Kerry with no coffee. Um, although I've had several this morning anyway, so forgive me if I'm a bit quick in my speech. Now, this is sort of a mid-year update I wanted to do. I normally do an update at Christmas time or December time, but there's been a lot going on and a lot of changes, and since the pandemic, life has now got back up to full speed. And I just wanted to catch you up on a few things, um, maybe get some feedback on a few things as well. But anyway, don't want to keep very long. I do have a list. Um, so I want to go through that really, really quickly just to make sure I've cleared some points. Okay, I first started my YouTube channel December 30, 2010. So I think that makes... Yes, I think that's 13 years this year, ballpark. So I've been doing YouTube a while now. Now, when I very first started out, I didn't really give YouTube the value and the time and the effort that I probably should have done, but life was absolutely chaotic. My life back then was as a cake decorator, designer. I was traveling the world, lecturing, teaching, demonstrating, being an international judge. I would I publish books. It, it's just, it was a, absolutely, Kerry was on spin cycle. So trying to give a lot of attention to YouTube was not, not in my criteria. And then as the years went by, I tried different ways of making it work. And it was only when the pandemic hit, and of course life just stopped, and cake was wiped out for me, my business went, and I had to reassess that I really spent time just trying to learn the technical technology behind YouTube, just trying to get a grasp on it and, and see the value of it. And as you will have noticed since pandemic, well, hopefully you've noticed, I put a lot of effort into it. We've now got a lot of more stuff, variety. My world has swung away from my cake world to my arts and crafts and artistic world, which was always running parallel. It's just I never made that side of my life public. Um, but the pandemic did that and maybe it was the right move. And looking back, I think it probably was. So we've done a lot. I mean, I think when this airs, let's see, I think this will go out in September or low. It's about the second week of August currently, because I'm about to go on a big vacation on the 28th of or 29th of August. You'll see updates. I'll fill you in on that one. Um, so I'm trying to film at least a month ahead so that I don't miss any videos for you. So there's about 700 videos as far as I can work out on this YouTube channel, completely varying across lots of different things from shorts to tutorials to long to taking you on a diarised journey with me, lots of stuff. And, and I like the variety. I'm glad I'm not just one specific thing all of the time because even I get bored doing that. So one of the spin-offs of this is, and I'm incredibly grateful for my subscribers, I now have, oh gosh, it must be about 68,000 subscribers at time of filming. I think it's about that. And I love it. I love the community I've got behind me. I love the support and the inspiration you all bring to my channel. But in there is lying another problem. Now, when I started my YouTube channel back in 2010, I said, I will always read and answer my comments. It's now got to the point where I just can't catch up, guys. So I'm going to change it slightly. Um, whereas normally I would say thank you or cheers or you're welcome or my pleasure or whatever when when you just say thank you or thank you for sharing or something, I'm now going to change that. I'm only going to do a written reply if it has a question in it or it needs something that needs to be clarified or someone is asking for a link to something and I'm able to put it in. Any of the other ones, which I love and I will read everything, is probably going to get a thumbs up or a little heart. And by the time you see this, I probably already started doing that. That's just hopefully going to speed it up because currently I'm spending about two hours a day on answering comments. I just can't get to the end of the list. So please forgive me if you don't get a written reply. Know that I will have put a heart or a thumbs up just to acknowledge that I have written it, um, read it, and anything that that I can answer more clearly in a video I will make a future video of. Anything that I can give a quick answer or a link to, I will put into the comments box. So please forgive me. Please don't feel slighted. It's just I need to work smarter, not harder. So I mean, that's that one. Uh, let's see next on the list. OK, Coffee with Kerry has always been very, very popular and I do one a month. I think in 
2024, I'm going to try and do two a month. Now, it may not always be, so I'm not going to hold myself to it, but there'll always be one a month. But I think I'm going to drop a few more in because there are other subjects I want to talk about. And you seem to enjoy the, the format of Coffee with Kerry, just having a little chat. And now they're actually podcasts as well on YouTube. They're the same thing as my video, but there's no actual... Um, what well, try I say? There's no actual visual, it's just audio. So know that it's doing really well and everyone loves those. So I'm going to try and put more in. Now, I do have a whole list of topics that I'm comfortable talking about. However, if there's things you'd like me to raise as a subject, please feel pre free to put them in the comments. Knowing that I'm not going to deal with religion. I'm not going to deal with politics. Um, I know nothing about politics. Um, I'm not going to go near any topics that are basically going to raise people's hackles. I, I'm not here to cause an argument to put a strong point of view. My aim with Coffee with Kerry has always been it's raising a topic for discussion or raising awareness of a subject that I think we're overlooking and maybe we just need a little gentle reminder of things. So, so feel free to put topics in into the comments and say, Kerry, how about this, this, this and this. I will add them to my list, um, but know that I can guarantee not every single one of them will get done because if I don't feel comfortable in doing it or I don't have enough knowledge on a subject, or maybe I just don't have a point of view on it, I'm not going to put myself in the public domain as a target for everyone to fire their their comments at when I've obviously not known what I'm talking about. So anyway, we'll move on from that one, but know that in 2024, I think you're going to see more Coffee with Kerry's from me. Uh, now, you will have noticed over the months that there's a wide variety of topics that I'm doing all of them are usually creative on my channel. There are flip throughs, there are um, product reviews. Um, I, I do lots of different things. And as I learn, I'm a sponge for knowledge and I love trying new stuff. And the downside of that is, um, for example, last year I was doing a collage page every month. Now maybe I'm doing a collage page every third month. Um, maybe I'm not working on my gel plate as much as other people would like, as much as I'd like. However, I can't fit so much into um, a month. I'm averaging about 14 videos a month. And when you reckon I hold down three jobs and I'm doing that, I will show say three income streams. One of them is actually a part time job as well. But I'm juggling so many things. Um, something has to give somewhere and hopefully it's not my mental state. Uh, so just know that um, Things will go in when it's relevant for things to go in, but I will keep a really wide expanse of topics, but they'll all be creative or or linked in some way to creativity or artistry or just sharing of knowledge and skills, to be honest with you. End of that one. Um, let's see. OK, I get lots and lots of questions of, Kerry, can you send us your address? I'd like you to send happy mail. Um, the only address I have is my personal home address. I do not have a P.O. box. And the only time I do any form of happy mail is normally when I'm doing official swaps. And they're not someone contacting me out of the blue going, Kerry, do you want to swap ATCs with me? They're ones that are run by um, safe groups on Facebook or artistic groups where I know that the, the group or the organisation who's doing it has checked out who it is who's swapping because I'm not going to send my personal details out to someone. Now, um, if I do a swap with you or if somehow I have gleaned your address somewhere along the way, maybe I've ordered something from your Etsy store and I have your address. Maybe um, you've sent me a message via some other way. Then periodically I do just randomly send out a happy mail to people just to surprise them because that's what happy mail is or a random act of kindness. Um, but what I will also say is I do love receiving happy mail, but I don't ever want to get into the situation where my life is ruled by opening happy mail, sharing happy mail, giving credit for happy mail. I like happy mail to be a surprise. I don't want it to become a task. So just know that thank you for all your kind offers. 
If I'm ever involved in a swap with you, it's very rare I only swap the items. I will usually put other stuff in unless it's it's a really big international swap. And because of postage, the weight of postage, I won't put more into the package because it becomes really expensive, especially when you ship into New Zealand and Australia. But anyway, so hopefully that's tick the box with the Happy Mail thing. Um, OK, uh, in August, I made a journal on screen. Um, I normally don't show my process um, I, and it's not because I don't show my process because it's a secret I think it's, I don't show it because um, there's plenty of other people doing it out there and I think it was a bit of a mini series I mean I made the pages in one video I did um, the cover and I'd swap the pages with another artist in the Netherlands so I made I made the journal and found some ephemera for it then I fully decorated it and then I did a flip through. So it was about four videos in total. Um, you all really loved that. So yes, I will try and put more of those in. I mean, I already had on my books, I've got a Bohemian journal I'm going to do using Rachel Bellacraft's um, digital kit. I actually did a share on Tracy Fox's ephemera for um, Creep On, which was a collaboration I did in June for Halloween. So what I'm going to do is I want to try and create a vampire or a Halloween themed um, journal for that. Yes, I will share that process. I'm still looking for the right sort of digital for it. I need to reach out to Tracy and find out whether she does have a complimentary journal pack that goes with the uh, um, the ephemera that I use. So that's another one. So yes, you will see. It won't be every month though, guys. It might be two, three times a year at the most because I have so many other art things going on and journals can take a considerable chunk of time with all the prep and all the ephemera and everything. So, and I don't sell my journals. Um, I make them as gifts. I use journals all the time for myself. On the shelf over there, there's got to be about eight journals I'm currently working within myself. Um, I sometimes put them into a happy mail. Um, so don't go looking on the internet for them. I don't sell them and I don't take commissions for them. Uh, well, what's next? Um, thanks for the supplies. Um, there, is, there have been some, if you look under the video here, there's a little button that says thanks. If you were to click on that thanks button, you can donate some money to my channel. And some of you have done that, and there's a big thank you for that. Um, whenever I'm notified by YouTube Studio that it's happened, I always make sure I go in and thank you for that, not with a heart or a thumbs up. That actually gets and merits quite rightful uh, of a response from me. And what happens is any of that money goes into a little kitty I've got on the go, which then enables me to buy art supplies that probably I wouldn't normally buy to use on the channel. Like, for example, um, when are we, we're August now. OK, I think it's arriving in a couple of days time. I actually went and bought a selection of um, Shuttle Art metallic paints, acrylics. Um, I think there's 20 in the selection. I wouldn't normally have bought one of those, but I've always looked at them and gone, oh, I really want those. So what I'll do is when that comes in, I'll do a bit of a product review on it, and it'll then enable me to use more metallics on my gel print, on my doodling, on, on my art pieces, whereas before I was limited to things like silver, gold, bronze, and copper. Silver, gold, bronze, and graphite, I think, was the other one. Now I'll have a lot more to play with, so it'll be more enjoyable for me, and hopefully you'll enjoy seeing me use them and you never know, you might go off and buy them as well. Um, let's see. Okay, about 18 months to two years ago, <clears throat> excuse me, I was getting quite a few requests going, Kerry, why did you shut down your Instagram account? We'd really like you to start it up again. Now, Instagram never really worked for me. However, I thought, okay, right, let's give this another go. If that's what my subscribers want, I will do it. Started up my Instagram account again. Um, was trying to post something like at least weekly but as time's gone on I'm just I find it hard push to do Facebook I've already closed down Twitter and LinkedIn and I've got rid of lots of social media so basically my social media is Pinterest Facebook YouTube that's sort of where I sit and I even struggle to do Facebook so unfortunately guys I'm going to close Instagram down again I know some of you love it I just I just don't use it I'm, I keep trying to remind myself to do it 
but I'm like, well, most of the people I know on Instagram have also seeing my YouTube channel, my Pinterest account, my Facebook accounts, and it would just be duplicating. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel my Instagram account again because it's there, but I'm just not doing enough on it, guys. Sorry, but I tried it and I've tried it twice now. It just doesn't work. It's like Twitter. When I did Twitter years ago, it didn't work. I couldn't work within that format. Whereas on Facebook, I can put pictures and links to videos. I can share on parts of group. For me, it's much more of a community that I like to work within. Although Facebook is not without its issues or its problems. And it drives me insane sometimes. But at least it's something I know how to use. And I've got a personal profile and I've got my business page and they're working really quite well and I belong to groups and collaborations which are all based on Facebook as well. So yes, Instagram, sorry, it's going by the by. Um, I did mention I've got a Pinterest account. Um, so if you're someone who does Instagram, follow me purely for images. Every image I do is usually put on Pinterest as well. I have, I think it's either 69 or 70 boards on Pinterest with 4,132 pins on there. So you can see I use that a lot. And every time, and it's not just images, it's videos as well. So every time a video is launched, I also link it into Pinterest onto the correct board there. So that it means that wherever you view me from, um, everything I do is being shared to the maximum ability to everybody I can share it with. Um, one thing I've really slipped on, and it is really, really slipped on, it's Etsy. I have an Etsy store. Um, it's still ticking over. It's still selling stuff. But I don't think I put a new product on Etsy for at least 18 months. And believe me, there's boxes around here full of stuff ready to go to Etsy. Um, as far as scanning and editing and uploading, it's just really time consuming. And with everything I'm juggling at the moment, I'm not giving that true value. So I really do want to try and get back into at least producing one product a month. Um, if I can, maybe it'll be every other month, I don't know. So if you are someone who's favorited my shop, there will be new things. Everything I sell in my Etsy shop is a digital download. I don't sell physical items. Um, I need to swing my attention back to that uh, because I am creating things that I know you love. I am creating things that generate lots of requests of Kerry Kudu Additional, Kerry Kudu Additional. Yes, I can, but I've not got around to it. Um, there are certain things I can't do digitals of because of copyright or I don't own the stuff. Um, but now that I've got a whole range of foam stamps, stencils and masks, which I've designed with PM Artist Studio in Texas, I now have much more of a pool of stuff I can dip into to create my own designs, um, which will then become products on my Etsy store. So look at it will come. It's probably not going to come immediately, but I really am conscious, guys, that you want my uh, my um, digitals. I just need to find a way of fitting those back into what I'm doing. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, uh, I did say that I was going to launch um, a prompt, 100 prompts in July this year. Um, that didn't happen because I haven't yet worked out how to give it to you. I mean, I was never going to charge for it. I didn't want to put it onto my Etsy store as a product. I can't find out on the page I've got in Facebook or my... I, I can't find a way of sharing it other than just putting all of the prompts into one comment on Facebook and you print the comment off. I need to check whether you can do that or whether I read them to you or whether I try and do them as um, an image and then you can save the image and then either cut it up or write them out. I'm still working on it. I really want to do it. They're already written. They're already there. The plan for everything is there. I just haven't had time. Sorry, you must be sick of me saying I haven't had time at the moment, but I just don't have time. It's just my life is like it's whirlwind. Um, and part of that's because I'm a workaholic. So it's nobody's fault except my own. I control it. It's my fault. Um, last thing on the list before I say goodbye is um, if there's any suggestions for things you'd like to see, um, things you'd like to see me try and recreate, um, things you'd like me to maybe 
do a product review on and granted I can only product review if I have the product so if I own the product I'll do a review on it if I if I get like a special discount code somewhere and I think I will use the product then I will use I will order the product then give a review on it basically if there's anything you really want me to do or see or hear about or whatever by all means always drop it in some comments I will try my darndest to add it to the list unless it's something there's absolutely no way I'm going to be doing. Um, and I would give you a yes or a no answer right away because um, I'm not going to mislead you. There's no point in doing that. So, end of the day, guys. Thank you so much. You are making my mental state so much better. This studio space that I'm working in is feeding into my creativity and my love of art and artistry. Um, the subscribers, the, the followers on the friends I've got within all my social media are absolutely, you are stars and I love you. Um, thank you for the support of the companies I work with. I, I'm beginning to travel a little more again now. Um, you may see me at arts and crafts shows in the future because I've been approached to demonstrate at a few places. And if if the terms and conditions suit my terms and conditions and I agree to it I would always let you know um, there's a few things I'm hoping to do next year in the states like just be out and about in the states so um, watch out for announcements basically so I think we're about half an hour no we're not we're at 21 minutes so I think that's way enough for me gossiping so thank you again guys it's a fabulous journey I I wish all of you the joy and pleasure that I get out of being creative. Um, I love the fact that I have a platform where I can share other creative people, promote other people's channels and works and digitals and their, their creativity. If I can help someone up along the way, as others have helped me, I will definitely be doing it. I love to give credit where credit is due. I love to shine the spotlight on new innovative um, designers, people's products. It's just, it's a joy and I love it. So before I start bursting into tears and getting all gushy on you, um, I'm Kerry Griffiths and it's bye bye for me. Bye guys. <laughs>